This is the third battle between Clulin of Agurtha and Master Bean. In the, enemy the near. Agony 1 vs 1 Championship. Seems like we have Westphalia coming up against the Lombards, which is an interesting matchup. They share some similarities, some differences. Scout Cavalry, of course, for the Saxons, four of those. Then we have Archers, let's see, we have a total of four Archers, one Hearth Guard, Sayax Warriors, Sword Veterans in the center. Just about the only armor that the Westphalians can bring. Spare Warriors, Spare Warriors, Spare Warriors. For the Lombards, we have a bunch of these Archers, three, only three Archers actually. Then we have Lombard Axes. Gestalt swords, very similar to these armies. Lombard axes, Lombard axes. And for cavalry, we have Lombard lancers, Lombard horse. So both armies, fairly balanced. It seems it's it's becoming quite common to go for a sturdy mainline of armored swordsmen uh, to have flanking support from either Sayax units or spears or or axes. Some skirmish support, a few cavalry units on the side. But it seems to me like the Lombards are going to be firing downhill here. Good for the Lombards, not so good for the Westphalians. Scout Cav being very sneaky here, running around the flanks. But since all of the Lombard archers are engaged in the frontier, there aren't any archers available to screen away these Scout Cavalry units, so they might be very annoying. But over here though, we have an engagement starting. It seems. Uh, the Lombard horsemen, I'm not quite sure what they're doing here because they ran straight into spear warriors. They realized their mistake, but only after losing 20 men. So that was bad for. <laughs> that was bad for the Lombards. Just ran into spears. And spears warriors stopping here. That sound, that huh sound, means the Gestalt swords are going to the shield wall. The axes running into the spears downhill. And Lombard horses getting picked apart by the Scout Cavalry. Here come the Saxes, charging in. The Lombard Axemen should start dropping quickly. Ooh, look at these Scout Cav. Just clipping the swords, getting into the archers. Eating a few flaming shots while going out, but. Overall, a good charge. The men are broken and running for their lives. The scout cab is about to get hit. If it isn't careful, yep, it wasn't careful. But here, Lombard horse being defeated by sword veterans. I don't see shield wall being in use for from these units. So instead of going through the sword veterans, the uh, Lombard lancers. We're trying to run past here, but they sort of they got blocked, got hit by a flaming volley, and now they decided to go into the back of these Enemy units have been rallied. Sags warriors, which is going to draw fire into the Sags warriors My as well. And they don't They're have a lot of armor, yet. they don't have the best morale, so it might make a few of them run. This unit, however, the Lombard horse, managed to get into the archers. Here we have Sags warriors in shield wall holding up against the Lombard Axis. 15 bonus versus infantry when they are in shield wall so uh, if a Saiyax unit had any kind of armor that would be fearsome indeed. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing! Lombards are going to get the better of this engagement. Taken some casualties on the Gestalt Guard, and he hasn't done too much killing, considering how expensive he is. 
nice charge here from the sword veterans into the back of the lumbar axe, just as the CX band is wavering. So might have saved the CX band there. Might be important for the later game. A unit is running from the enemy. Scout cab still alive. Taking daily ammunition. Trying to find an opening and finding the opening, getting into the archers just before getting wrecked. So they're going to take some archers down with them, these Lombard Lancers. Charge of the Light Brigade from the Lombard Wars. Getting hammered because they're so depleted, they've taken a lot of prior input damage. It seems like the sturdier units are going to carry the day here. These sword veterans are not in shield mode, which of course is a problem with these engagements. Men run from the enemy! This is shameful! The Gestalt Swords aren't really a shield wall either. And amazingly, these three <laughs> archers have been kept alive. Uh, well, not really amazingly, because the Saxons only have the scout cavalry. But for the, the these archers have been hammered hard by the Lombards. They are still pouring the lady shot into the, the Gestalt Guard. So important to have the ability to do this at the late game. So the Gestalt Guard might not even get into the archers here because he's wavering. But yeah, he gets the he gets the charge actually. The archers start doing weird shit. Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Yeah, wavering. About to about to be scared off the field the by a bunch of archers. Yep, there he is, Our he's gone. Well, the hot guard of Westphalia is safe and sound. Now, in, in Attila, in normal Attila, I'd argue that any faction that had access to a good cavalry general was at um, advantage because of that. But in, in Charlemagne, any faction that has to take a cavalry general, general is put at a slight disadvantage, in my opinion. Because... Compare that to having a good, solid melee infantry general. Then that good, solid melee infantry general is... going to be easier to keep safe than... a cavalry general once you are engaged. That's very important, once you are engaged. Uh, and also, you, you, with the cavalry general, you... You have a tendency to, to want to take risks with that general to go in and take take out value targets, but then you're just seconds away from getting hammered by a flaming shot. So, Cluelen of Agartha takes the victory with Westphalia. And uh, nice kills on these uh, say axes. Nice kills on the sword veterans. Just overall, nice kills. Good performance by his army there. Strength and honor.